there's been 120 new oh, yeah. accusers that popped Josh? up on Diddy's case. Uh, 120. It, it's alleged that there was a nine-year-old yep. boy. Two. There's a yeah, two nine-year-old boys, a 15-year-old girl. Well, we can just hear him. Um, yeah, uh, there's a nine. There's a, a 14. I'll read it real quick, Josh. It really wasn't a secret at all. Oh, shit. It says Texas attorney Tony Busby held a press conference setting out the claims alleged against Diddy. I don't want to read that shit. That's fucking my shit up. That yeah. glare is fucking me up. Uh, he said our team has had at this point 3,285. <laughs> damn, 3,285. Three has finally Five. been revealed Five. to the world. Five. The wall of silence has now been broken, and victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, we also intend to make the biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really will make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know so a few of them have already claims out of been spoken to by the FBI. No. Uh, now, before we okay. discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, let me comment on the large volume of calls 60, we have received 60. since our first announcement. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and had screened a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs, and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise, for a variety of reasons, are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. I'm one of them. He touched me. But no, most of these people are scared. They fear backlash in their communities. They fear backlash in their own families. They are afraid of retaliation from the perpetrators and their like these associates. They are rightly afraid for their own personal safety. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. We know what we are potentially up against. And as is always the case in situations like this when a celebrity is involved, people can be downright mean and nasty. You would be shocked at the length fans will go, no matter the evidence, to the contrary, to defend celebrities they love. I mean, there's a reason for this word, no, fans. I'm They're fanatic as we can. <laughs> I always start with a mindset that I believe victims. You know, though, I watched the video on that shit, and the claim was like he was talking to a kid and told the parents, like, I need to talk to him by himself real quick just to see if he's ready to sign and all that. And the parents let him walk in the other room, go in the room for like a mm -hmm. couple of minutes, and he told the kid, like, hey, he put his, he put his dick out and told him to give him some head or some shit. Some weird shit, bro. And it's then, crazy. And then That's fucking another one was like so their parents weird. knew, the parents knew what was going on type shit. He was promising the career if he just mm -hmm. could get a piece of the boy butt. Sheesh. Look, man. Look, yeah, bro. Like little boy, but uh, that's weird. But I, I can't believe it. I'm not believing everything that they say. I can't just put that out. 120 like, cases? Like, the freak when? Off, when do you have right. time? Like, and then the a 15 year old snuck into one of the freak offs. They try to make it seem like she was 40. She got snuck in the freak off, started doing drugs at 15, passed out, and everybody hit. I can see that. I, I mean, can see I can that see happening. That happening. What? No, I, I'm not I'm saying, saying that. I, I, we've I'm been not around. Saying that I would, yeah. Wait, no. I'm not saying like like I no, can no, see no, that no, situation no, 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 happening. I can no, see no. that happening. No, I can no, see that being no, no, a facts, right? plausible scenario. Yeah. No, no facts, right? But what I don't see happening is is, is, is like like how she sneak in. What the fuck? 
I mean, what how did mean? how did that girl get lasered him to fly because her out? Because it's not a it's she not a her. it's not a club. Right. The freak offs ain't club. If it's home though, everybody. That's what I'm saying. She come over. She says she is certain age. Oh, probably okay, telling the people. Age. You know what I mean? Okay, like okay. it wasn't like oh, I'm 15 and he fucked her. If he I were like, if I were to hazard a guess, she probably don't look 15. Yeah, for saying? sure. So, like, come on, man. We see. It. That's what I'm saying. If you can make it, if you can make it, IDs, check IDs, check IDs. If you can make it to one of these places and stay there for days without your parents looking for you, right. It's already like, damn, what she might do be grown because she ain't. Right. Yeah, you know I mean? And when we were in high school, we knew girls like that shit. We was, I know girls but, who loved older dudes. But shit. They used to be like, I'm not fucking with y'all. Y'all too young. Y'all don't got no cars. We, we, we in the ninth grade because nigga, old niggas come and pick the bitches up. Bro, I had, some, I, 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 had the, I had the prettiest girlfriend when I was 16 and she left me for a 25 year old in a Mercedes. So, uh, Straight sucks. the fuck up. <laughs> Man, yeah. love me, Yo, hey, listen. I used to be telling the bitches, like, you know, yeah. y'all get raped, bitch. I used to say that shit back <laughs> then. Like, bitch, Nothing. why do y'all <laughs> Fuck with old niggas. Like, I knew it was weird. Like we knew well, they that didn't shit that was way. weird. Like, like now they probably do. Yeah, nah, hell nah. The bitches that's doing <laughs> right. it, they they know what money is. Once they find out, nigga buy them a couple pair of Jordans and shit. Come back then, nigga, they sucking dick. I can't tell you how common it was when I was in high school. Like to the point where super. Yeah. It, it's every like, and not just L.A., New York. I everyone I knew from New York, it was the same thing. Girls were fifteen, boyfriends Bro, in their twenties. This girl I went to. I, you probably know her. I ain't even gonna say her name, but she went to Cover Middle because she got the same name as a popping singer. Yep. Uh, but oh, really? she had a baby in eighth grade by like a twenty-two year old. 